Saturday morning, and here we are being driven to school for a punishment. Yeah, Saturday morning detention. What a lousy um, break. No, no, no. I'm not driving you to school. You're not? No, no. Your principal told me that you deserve a much worse punishment than a Saturday morning detention for what you guys did. Oh, no. We're taking us to jail? No, no. My orders were just to drive you around for three hours. <laughs> This isn't going to hurt a bit, Carlos. <laughs> Certainly not me, anyway. Are you going to take a tooth out? How many? I'm scared of being little. Carlos, I don't like being hurt. Carlos, What's quiet, quiet, oh. boy. You talk too much. Far too much. Your tongue pushes your teeth out of shape. <laughs> oh, there we are. <coughs> now you want straight teeth, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, good because I'm going to remove your tongue. <clears throat> you have very sharp teeth, Carlos. Goodness. I think this show was written by a sicko. Actually, most of it's written by one of the older kids, Adam Reed. I guess we're in for a real painful show. Especially as today's show is about punishment. Okay, props check. What? Props check. I gotta make sure... <coughs> Then all these props are in good work and order. Kristen, get up, bend over. Oh, this is going to be fun, fun, fun. <laughs> what are you doing? I told you, I'm testing the props. Now you just hold on, I'll get around to you in a minute. No, you can't do that. That's child abuse. He's not a child, he's an actor. All right, then it's actor abuse. Oh, you guys are no fun. Can't you take a joke? Sure, we can take a joke. Oh, you can take a joke, eh? Okay. Take this. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jennifer can't come to the phone just now. She's all tied up. <laughs> and you're going to stay tied up, young lady, until you learn to stop picking your nose. Mom, as well as not being able to pick my nose, I won't be able to do my homework or my chores either. Oh. Oh, well, then perhaps I'd better... Oh, no, you don't, young lady. I'm not falling for that. You never do any homework, and you certainly don't ever do any chores. So ha-ha, one to me. For the next five hours, we at Educational Television are proud to present a festival featuring the Iranian String Quartet. And you won't be able to change the channel, either. Uh, yeah, Carlos? I hear the jail ordered in some of your burgers the other day. Why? Probably because bread and water wasn't bad enough for him. They didn't order my burgers over there for punishment for prisoners. Um... A condemned man ate them for his last meal. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to get a properly cooked barfy burger. Eat one, then go sit in the electric chair. <laughs> I heard that. Christian, you want me to uh, heat up your burger for you? <laughs> It was in uh, the year of 1847 in Egypt. Oh, 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 you, you may go. All right, Carlos. You may go, too. Just a moment. Oh, uh, get that other. Let this be a lesson to you, Carlos. Don't ever pick your nose in school. Or anyone else, for that matter. No. Sir, no, uh, my arms, they're stuck stiff. Well, it doesn't matter. What does that matter? Oh, oh just a moment. Turn around. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, hold on. You know, in the future, people won't be punished by being hit on the head. Really? No, they'll get hit on the bottom instead. That's terrible. They'll end up being buried in the ground head first. Oh no! With their feet sticking up. <laughs> Jennifer, dear, your father and I have noticed that you've been behaving rather strangely lately. Uh, two days ago, you ripped the stuffing out of your mattress. And you shaved the cat. Mm -hmm. And a whole lot more. Oh, yeah. Anyway, your father and I think that we know the solution to the problem, dear. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, we are going to spend more time with you. Aw, oh, Dad. Mm -hmm. Quality time. Not quality time. Oh, yes, Jennifer. <laughs> quality time. No. <laughs> no.
Have you ever noticed how parents always say, your mother and I, or your father and I, if it's going to be bad news, and it's always we, if it's going to be good news, as in, we've decided to take you all to Disneyland, or your mother and I have been talking to the vice principal. Hey, hey, move. <coughs> now listen, the producer and I were talking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. You see, the producer and I figure that this show needs to perk it up. Yeah, we want to add more of what the audience really looks forward to. Apart from the closing credits, what do the audience of the show really look forward to? Yeah. Read my lips, green slime. They'd love to see you guys getting green slime. So we are going to have more slimins on this show. You know how many TV programs and one movie that I can mention were much more successful when they stole this idea? Mm -hmm. That's great. The audience may like the green slime, but us kids hate it. I know, I know. So the producer and I have decided every link from now on, somebody is going to say those um, fateful words. What words, Ross? I'd, uh, I, you know what words, Carlos. Now, say them. Me? Why should I say them? No way. I am ordering you to. Ross, I don't know who you think you are, but this... There's no way. I make a green slot. <laughs> You can't do that on television. We'll be back after these messages. You don't need a Tetris shot. Tetris. Can you even Tetris size? Square, rectangle, trapezoid, Tetrisoid. Nintendo introduces Tetris. Put a piece here, put a piece there. Use your thumbs, use your eyes. Find yourself Tetrisized. Now you're playing with power. Get your ski shined up, grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move ya. Take a sniff, pull it out. The taste is gonna move ya when you pop it in your mouth. Juice is soft, it gets right to ya. Juicy fruit, the taste, the taste, the taste is gonna move ya. Rosie, you're not speaking to me today? No. Oh, oh, you're still mad at me because I wouldn't let you have Mommy's Kellogg's cornflakes? Don't yell at me, Rosie. Oh, all right. If you love them that much, you can have them. Kellogg's cornflakes is part of this nutritious breakfast. My Slinky could walk. Let me try that. Or roll over. Let me try. Or shake. Free Slinky when you mail in two proofs of purchase from Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Your turn, Dad. Oh. Yes. <laughs> You're watching Nickelodeon. Now back to You Can't Do That on Television. Saria, you know, I did warn you that if you didn't make your bed or tidy up your room, bed bugs would move in and make a home. They love a messy bed. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were joking, Mom. Oh, no, dear. I went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> what? <laughs> to lure the bed bugs in, I, I had to put in the ant farm. What ant farm? And then, of course, after the ant farm, the spiders came in all by themselves. <laughs> and that's when the birds built little nests among the sheets. <laughs> so you put all those bugs in my bed? Well, of course, dear. It doesn't do for a mother to be wrong about these things. And I, I did tell you that if you didn't make your bed, bugs would move in and make a home. And now they have. Night, night. <laughs> That's it, young man. For the next two hours, you can just not go to your room. That's oh, all. Well, what happened? Where am I? Oh, <clears throat> what's going on? Uh, oh, this is an opposite? I'm supposed to be giving you more allowance or something? You can if you want, Dad, but this isn't the opposites. Mom's just punishing me, that's all. And almost for nothing. Wait a minute. Listen, when I was a kid, for punishment, they used to send me up to my room. 
Well, yes, Lance, but when you were a child, you didn't have a stereo, a television, a telephone, a video game computer, and hundreds of toys in your room, did you? Gee, Mom, you sure do know how to hurt a kid. No. Hey, what does this show think it's doing, tipping off parents like that? Yeah. Mm. I sometimes get myself sent to my room just so I can play video games in peace. <laughs> yeah, usually, unless I'm sent out to my room as a punishment. As soon as I start playing with my things in there, my mom starts yelling at me to go outside and get some fresh air. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, when they're not mad at you, they send you outside. All you do is sit in the grass and freeze to death. And when they are mad at you, they send you up to your room, where you can listen to your stereo, play nerf basketball. Yeah. It's crazy. It's it's kind of like a real-life opposite skin. Yeah. Hey, 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 speaking of opposites, I want to apologize to you guys, sincerely, for all the things that I've done. I mean, like, hidden Christian with that thing, and, uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Boy, I really want to apologize for getting you slimed so early on the show, Carlos. I don't know what kind of... <laughs> tonight with the prize of a lifetime. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Now listen closely. Fill in the blank. Two plus two equals... Four. No, no, don't, 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 don't help them. Don't help them. the audience. The answer is... The time is running out. I'm sorry. You have five seconds. Two plus two equals... Uh, Come on. Four? Four is right! Oh. He got it right! Oh. You have won! Eighteen hours of trigonometry! <laughs> and that isn't all. Ten more years of school and four years of detention and <laughs> This will teach us never to slime poor Ross again. Ow, ow. <laughs> we will never be so horrible to poor Ross again. <laughs> we will never slime Mr. Ewitch again. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of myself. Ow. <laughs> Wait, wait, you guys stop. What are we doing? We must be crazy. Oh, oh that really is. <laughs> oh, I never knew I could paddle that hard. <laughs> oh, Dad, my kids are going to hate me. <laughs> Whoa, before I sit down again, I need to cool my rear end in a bucket of water. <laughs> Wrong end! <laughs> I don't care what you say, Chris. Your father and I think this is a very fair punishment. Fair? Mom, this not only is unfair, it's cruel. It's a cruel and unusual punishment. My friends, they'll help me. Uh, actually, Chris, I think your friends are here to help me. Uh, here's the rotten eggs and fruit, boys. Thanks a lot. Gee, this is great, guys. Just like a real Robin Hood movie. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Sa safety first. This is crazy. Amigos, ready, aim. Wait a minute, wait a minute, stop the execution. Easy this time. 
What kind of guy are you to stand there all day long shooting poor, innocent little kids like me? I don't shoot little kids, innocent or otherwise. Matter of fact, they usually somehow get me to stand between them and the firing squad. You mean right about here? Right there. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> hey, amigos, I did it, eh? <laughs> I killed a kid. <laughs> and for once, I didn't play the stupid idiot and stand in front of the post and say fire. <laughs> yes, Jennifer? You're a mischievous kid. Is your mom always punishing you? No, not always. Only when I'm bad. <laughs> hey, Carlos. Yes, Chris? Did your mom used to hit you? Oh, tell me about it with a big wooden spoon. When did she stop hitting me? <laughs> Usually when I was yelling the house down. No, I mean, how old were you? How old will I be? That's what I want to know. <laughs> hey, Jen. Yes, Rhea? Do you think you'll use a paddle when you have children? Only if I have a canoe. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Hey, Christian. Yes, Carlos? Who punishes you the most in your family, your mom or your dad? My mom punishes me the most, but when my dad does, he makes it quality time. <laughs> eat! Eat! You know, kids in the future won't be punished for not eating their dinosaur meat. Lucky them. Why not, though? Because they'll be extinct. At the rate she's grown, she'll have made us eat every last one of them. Right. Eat! 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 magazines again? Oh, I warned you, young man. If I caught you reading dirty magazines again, I would lock you in a dark closet. We'll just see what your father has to say about this. <laughs> I gave you these magazines. Oh, you did. I should have guessed as much. You can join him. Valerie, when will you go out and lock me out of this dark closet? Oh, oh. it's okay. I've got a flashlight. Hey guys, ship up and shape out. It's time to give the audience what they really love. More green slime. Not again, Ross. Yeah, come on, the audience and I agree, right? Yeah, that uh, one of you guys is going to have to say the magic words and who is it going to be? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, I'll tell you what. We'll give you one dollar for whoever gets slimed. All right, wait a minute. I'll raise that bonus to, say, 50. Oh, hey, Ross! Ross. Okay, now, Please wait a minute. Rush. i got to figure this out. What is 50% of one dollar? Let's say, what is, um, dollar? <laughs> well, if kids like slime so much, I don't know why they don't slime themselves. Class, class. As I said before, the sedimentary layers are often next to the igneous... Chris, would you like to share your funny little story with the rest of the class? No, sir. Do you think you can teach this class better than I? No. I'll bet you're sorry you opened your mouth that time. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Chris. Oh, Carlos. Would you like to come up here and teach this class? Hmm? Well, hmm? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Listen up, everyone. There'll be no homework tonight. Yes! And class is dismissed an hour early. Let's go! Wait! I hope that you guys are ashamed of yourselves. Oh, come on, Coates. Those guys were five times bigger than us. Listen to me. I told you last week, lose one more game, and I dream up the worst imaginable oh. cruel punishment, and I did. Oh. I booked a game with the Syracuse psychopaths. Those girls are ten times bigger than you. <laughs> what is this? What's a cry for your sissies just because you're going to take a little punishment? It's not our skins we're crying for, Coach. What? It's you. Those Syracuse psychopaths are coached by that maniac. And he always rips the arm off of the opposing team's goal. <laughs> Except when he just kills them. Wait, wait, wait. Look, hey, maybe, maybe we can get out of this game. No, we can't. 
can't. We can't. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> die. Now, as you know, Christian, in our family, for our generations now, we have punished our kids with a switch. Yes, Dad, I know. I can take it. Okay, so for your punishment, I am going to have to use the switch and turn you off. <laughs> hmm? What? And then the coach said, it was some real damn near crisps. How many times have I told you not to talk with your mouth full? Hey, well, I'm sorry. Get in there and really give it to them. So we got back in and get. There's always more than one way to skin a cat, right, Lance? Well, yeah, but there ain't no way the cat's gonna like it. <laughs> hey, you all right in there? Get in there and really give it to them. So they gave me the ball. I'm going past the fifty. <laughs> Slime. Oh, no, not again, Ross. <laughs> and it's time for one more slime. You gotta give the people what they want. Who is it this time? Who? Let us check the script. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. No, it doesn't say. It just says slime another kid. Adam, is Adam in the studio? Adam, wake up. Get up here. Come on, Ed. Okay, sorry about that. Come on. those words. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Uh, okay. Get them right here. Just take those words and put them into one of the girls' or boys' mouths. Mm hmm Right. <laughs> I've already been slimed on this show. Remember, Adam? You're right. Okay. Sorry about that, Carlos. I'll just make a little random choice here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who shall I slime today? Any, meeny, miny, mo, who will get to say those magic words? Oh, yes, I don't know. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't see my name here anywhere. <laughs> you guys, this is not... Ah, Do that on television has been a punishing experience for all of us. Especially me, Paul. Yeah, well, I offended the producer about 10 years ago. This has been my punishment. Gotta read this announcement at the end of every program. Means I gotta sit and watch the entire wonderful program. 